Hey guys, it's Ryder back in Minecraft and today I'm going to show you how to build a working boat in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Let's get into it. Here is the boat I'm going to show you how to make and here is everything you're going to need to build it. But the pressure plate, block, stairs and slabs can be any block. They don't need to be oak. Anyways, to move forward all you need to do is go here and stand on the pressure plate and if you look at the side, we are moving forward. Over here, I have an exact replica of that boat over there, except without any of the command block or redstone stuff. Except the cool thing about this tutorial is that you can build this with any boat you want and it will still work the exact same. It can be as big or as small as you want, but it is stuck to one block a second. So I wouldn't suggest building it for humongous boats. The first thing you want to do is figure out whether you're facing north or south. The way you do that is by seeing if your first coordinate goes up or down when you move forward. Here I move forward and it gets smaller because it's a minus number and minus numbers getting bigger means the number is actually getting smaller so I'm facing south. Remember this because this will be important for later. Then you want to place your pressure plate. Here I'm going to skip three blocks and place it here. So back here I've got a seven block wide gap so I have enough room for the piston. Now I'm going to skip two blocks and place the piston with two blocks in front of it. Then I'm going to place a block here and place redstone dust on top of it. Then I'm going to place redstone dust on top of this block as well. Break this block and this block and I'm going to place a block here and there and I'm going to place redstone dust on top of both of them and then I'm going to come down here and link it up to the pressure plate for now. After I finish linking it up when I step on the pressure plate it should push the pistons forward. Now I'm going to quickly cover this up by placing a few blocks here but you don't want to place it here because that will block the redstone. Here it is perfectly fine to do it, but to fix it here you just want to place an upside down stair so it looks like a block but it still lets the redstone pass through. Then you can just cover it up the back here as well and then I'm just going to place a few slabs on top so now you can't see any of the redstone. Now I'm going to come under the pressure plate and break this line of redstone here. I'm going to leave it there and place a block of redstone there. Then I want to come under the pressure plate and place a command block. Then I'm going to break a block next to the pressure plate and break a block underneath it, sort of like that. Then I'm going to place redstone dust, break these two blocks, place a block here and I'm going to place a repeater and I'm going to put it on four ticks delay. Then I'm going to crouch and place an observer going into that. Then I'm going to place a block there, two redstone dust here, and then I'm going to place another repeater on four ticks delay. Now everything is done except for the command block. As you can see, when I step on the pressure plate, the piston still activates, which is a bit of a delay, but that will be helpful later. Now we're going to do the command. So what we want to do is write clone space and we're going to go out of it and now this is the part where you customize it for your boat. So first of all we are going to go forward and to the right. Oh it just started raining. Anyways as I was saying you want to find how many blocks it is to the front of your boat. So here for me it is one, two, three four five but on the command spectrum it is actually minus five because i'm facing south so i'm going to go into the command and i'm going to do tilde which is this lovely squiggly line and go minus five now i'm going to figure out how deep it is but this is from the command block so it is only if i can fit down here one two blocks so I'm going to go tilde minus two. Now I want to find out how many blocks it is to the side from the command block so it is one two three four so we're going to go in here and go tilde minus four. 
but for yours, you do whatever it is. So if to the front, it is 100 blocks, you would do tilde 100. Or if it's just two blocks, you do tilde two. This is the customizable bit. Now we're gonna figure out how much it is to the top left of facing this way. So it's actually the back left. So from the command block, which is here, to the back, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 blocks. So I wanna go in here and because it's positive this time, I am going to go in here and go tilde 16 without the minus. Now I'm gonna figure out how tall it is from the command block. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 as well. So I go in here, tilde 16. And now I need to figure out how much to side, but because it is even, I know that it is positive four because that one was minus four. Now what I want to do is do the first coordinate I did again. So I'm gonna go tilde minus five, tilde minus two, and tilde minus four. And now what I want to do, because I'm moving south, I wanna make the first one one more. So that means it will make the boat go forward one more block. But if I did this, my boat would break. What I need to actually do now is go masked move. What that means is it moves the boat instead of cloning it on top of the boat because otherwise that would destroy it. Now we should be done if I place that block here, stop flying and if I step on this pressure plate, my boat is now working. As you can see, we're moving across the village and it has left this dock here so you can come back to it. Now you could build this on both sides. You can move forwards and backwards, but you'd need a bigger boat. If you understood that reference, then you're a true Australian. I, I understood that reference. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. If this helped you at all, then I'd really appreciate if you liked and subscribed because I'm trying to hit 1000 subscribers by the end of the year. I just want to say thanks for watching because this video actually meant a lot to me because it was a remake of a video I made about three years ago, two and a half years ago. And back when I made it, I had 20 subscribers and that video has gotten me over like 200 subscribers and has 30,000 views. So I just really want to say thank you for watching. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Bye.